Hello, today we're doing a micro lecture on Generations of Praise by Shields and Butsu, um, Chapter 5, which is Worship in the Eastern Churches. Um, these are the churches that become the Eastern Orthodox churches. Um, the worship in these churches is traditional and historical. Those who participate in the worship do not see it as outdated at all. They, they worship an eternal God. So time and limitations of time is inadequate in comparison to an eternal God. So their worship of God is not outdated because God is not limited by time. Um, and they, they, when they worship, they worship using all senses. They, they use the seeing of symbols, um, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling of incense during the service. Um... The location of the Eastern Churches were in Alexandria and Egypt, Antioch and Syria, the West and East, and Cappadocia and Constantinople. Um, the the building, the structured buildings that they worshipped were the basilicas, and um, this architectural style is identifying to the Orthodox churches even till today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Orthodox worship was a multi-sensory um, way of encountering the divine. The basilicas were like artistic and meaningful in design. Um, there's icons and relics all over the place. Um, it, it's more than just a church building. It, it's an image of heaven on earth. Um, in the liturgical year, the calendar is organized into three cycles. The paschal cycle, octo echoes, and the cycle of fixed feasts. Um, in the book, it, it, out, it outlines the divine liturgy. Um, it's pretty complex compared to our our Christian liturgical traditions, other Christian liturgical traditions, um, as compared to like our chapel services. Um, the main sections of this divine liturgy are the introductory and entrance rites, reading of scripture and supplications, the procession of to the altar, the Eucharistic prayer and communion, and then the concluding rites. And under that, there's sub-points um, outlined in there. Um, baptism in the Orthodox Church um, has hardly changed since the 9th century. Um, first, you have the order to become a catechumen, and then there's the order for baptism. So there's a lot of symbolism involved with baptism. Um, I feel as if baptism is like a lot more honored and important in Orthodox churches than it is in our Western um, churches in America. They they have this long and arduous process before they're initiated into the faith. So I feel like they devote a lot more time than other churches do. Um, and if you went to an Orthodox worship service, it would most likely be you're experiencing worship 11 centuries ago in the Byzantine Empire. Just like I said earlier, they they have no record of time because God is outside of time, so time doesn't matter. Um, and and this shows the mystery of God. Um, their their service it it does a very good job at defining the mystery of God, which promises hope for a better understanding at some point, which will happen when we arrive in heaven. We will be able to understand that fullness of God and the, the outside of time. Thanks for listening.